Hey guys, Casey Newman here with TheTaxHallAcademy.com and today I've got a great video for you and it's actually a screen recording of my computer screen and I not only show you how to access different tax cells that are upcoming for the state of Florida but I also show you how these tax cell lists are to be read you know, what everything on those tax cell lists means so let's cut to that clip Okay, so here we are. We're going to take a look at a couple of different counties in the state of Florida and look at their tax cell list. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at is Alachua County. So the first thing we have to do is to find this list, of course. So we'll go down to uh, Clerk of the Court, Alachua County. We'll click it. Now on the left-hand side here, you'll see that it says tax deed cells. This is going to be just about this simple in just about every county that you'll go to. There's going to be some link on the office responsible for the tax sale auctions in that county. Just go to their website, click on the link, it's very, very simple. You know, we've got some rules and regulations here. On the left hand side here, we're gonna click on scheduled sales right here. So let's click on it. Now again, it says uh, some rules, some history, you know, basically like your bid deposit, where they're held, that kind of good stuff. So they actually have a fairly interactive, um, you know, list of tax sale properties. Let's take a look at the first one here. It says number. This is basically just a way for them to organize the properties, you know, and decide, you know, they put a number on these and they know when they can look back in the history. The TD, which stands for tax deed 2013, and the number 108 was probably the 108th tax deed that they sold or that they offered for sale in 2013. Now it was posted for sale in 2013. The actual sell date right below it is January 2nd, 2014 at 10 a.m. So that's when you need to go to the courthouse if you're interested in this particular piece of property. Now, Florida is a hybrid state. They do tax lien certificates. And then after you know a period of years, the tax lien certificate owner can apply for a tax deed on that particular piece of property, which is what has been done here. And for additional reference, they list this tax lien certificate number 1641. But as a tax deed investor just going to buy the property at a tax deed auction, this doesn't really apply to you or concern you a whole lot. And neither does this number, the year of issuance, which was the year of issuance for this certificate number. Then it says parcel number, which we'll click on here in a second. It's not a homestead of property. And then the, one of the most important pieces is the opening bid amount. The opening bid amount is this one is uh, fairly high, $9,591.83. Now let's skip back up and see, you'll see that their website is actually linked in to the property appraiser's website. So we can click on this number right here, the parcel number, and it will load the actual property assessor's report for this particular piece of property. You know, and then we can go through it and, you know, of course, there's other videos that I've posted about how to read property appraisal report. But obviously, you know, we see that the property's value has a tax assessed value at least of 60100 bucks. You know, so it's obviously a fairly valuable piece of property. And with an opening bid of $9,500, you are going to stand to make quite a bit of money on this property uh, more than likely. So let's take a look at another county. Uh, let's go back to Google here. Let's type in Marion County Clerk of Court. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to click on this website. And again, it's going to be just as simple as the Alachua County. Like I said, just about every county is going to be this, you know, as easy. On this side, on this one, it's the right-hand side, tax D cell list. Click on it. Now, this has the different uh, dates here. These are actually in PDF formats. So let's uh, click on this one, January 8th, 2014. We'll click on it. Now, it has uh, just a few little rules up here. But we can go through it and we can read the different properties. Let's look at this first one here. In Marion County, they do their cells, they number them a little bit different. This is cell number 288766. The top right says the opening bid amount of $2,482.66. And then the applicant, this is actually the tax lien certificate holder. The tax lien certificate holder is, a, is an LLC, it's TC Tampa 1 LLC. What happened is, you know, since again, because Florida is a hybrid state, this applicant held the tax lien certificate. They purchased it two years ago. The necessary time has lapsed. They filed for a tax deed sale so they can get their initial investment out. In a hybrid state like this, their initial investment is $2,482.66. They'll get that money back minus some nominal fees that go to the county for holding the auction. So they'll be, you know, paid back their nominal interest rate of, you know, four or five percent or whatever it is that, uh, you know, they 
invested with their tax lien certificate. Obviously, like we've discussed many, many times before, there's you know there's only so much money in tax lien investing. That's why, of course, I suggest tax deed investing, and you buy it right out from under this guy for one penny more. He gets his four or five percent, and you can turn around and make two, three hundred percent off of it. So anyhow, let's uh, skip. It says parcel number. Here's your parcel number right here. Is it 0013-005-019? Then it also has your legal description, has your section, township, range, Lakeview Manor, Block 5, Lot 19, Platte Book K, page 24. And then it says the name in which the property was assessed, David P. Hogan. David P. Hogan is actually the defaulting taxpayer. So what you can do is you can go and research property records to see you know, historical data as far as the property that was owned by him. And basically the name in which it says is just a way to cross-reference that property with this legal description and this parcel number. So there's quite a bit of information here, you know, when it comes down to it, but it's very, very easy to decipher and it's very, very easy to read. So I hope you've enjoyed that clip. You know, at the Tax Cell Academy, we teach you all sorts of stuff, how to find and access these free tax cell lists, how to read these tax cell lists, how to go on and do your research about different tax cell properties, and how to successfully become a tax sell investor. If you'd like more information about the very lucrative tax sell business, head on over to my website at thetaxcelacademy.com and you can do that by clicking the blue link at the bottom of this video. Again, it'll take you to thetaxcelacademy.com. Once you're there, download your free copy of my ebook, The Tax Sell Blueprint, and you'll be on your way to a very successful tax sell investing career. Have a great day, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.